In this tutorial, we're going to talk about the single line graph and the double line graph compositions. They work basically the same, except obviously the double line graph has two line graphs. So we're just going to look at the single line graph. So to change the settings, we'll go to single line graph settings composition. And um, as you can see, this is uh, going from 10% up to 100%. And on the bottom, I have hidden, um, I hid the, uh, some data points. It was, I did have years like 2010, I mean, sorry, 2000 through 2011. You can change the time um, for this X axis. You can make it months or years or numbers, whatever you want to make it. Um, and then to plot your graph, you just go to layer 11, which would be called red line, and you want to move the mask vertices up and down. So let's say for this particular point, it needs to be 35%. We'll put it right above, right between 30 and 40%. So we're just kind of guessing it's not an exact graph here, but it's pretty darn close. So I made a grid with these guide layers just to make it a little bit easier to show you um, where exactly your points should be. And if you, for some reason, want to hide them, you can go up to View and go to Show Guides, turn that off. You can go back to View and click Show Guides, turn it back on. So if you change your first and last points, let's say this first point is going to be 40%, you obviously want to move your starting dot, and it's a layer called Start Dot. It's very uh, creative. So you can uh, grab it and move it down. And all it does is just fades in right before the animation starts. And you'll want to do the same thing with your endpoint. So let's go back to our red line and let's say we want to move this way down here. You're going to want to grab your end dot layer and drag it right about there. So that's good. And you would do the same thing in the double line graph. For double line graph settings and double line graph 2, it's just the exact same thing, except the display is different in the main composition. So if you go to single line graph, you'll see um, our animation works. Oh, and you want to move your uh, text layers. So this, you obviously want to change that to 40 and then change this to whatever it was, I can't even remember. Uh, put it right there. And then those will fade in as well. Perfect. So the same thing goes for the double line graph. When you change your data points, uh, you want to change the start and end dots. And then in the double line, in the main composition, the double line graph, you want to move your, um, your numbered layers to wherever you need them. 